Hi Aquarius, this is your weekly day-by-day -day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 4th of April 2022. Okay, I'm gonna start with Monday, of course, the 4th of April. For you Aquarius, Two of Pentacles. Tuesday, Five of Swords. Wednesday, Ten of Swords. Thursday, Seven of Cups. Six of Swords. Friday, Saturday, Eight of Wands. And Sunday with Page of Wands. Your influencing energy is the devil. Anyway, two of pentacles. Monday with the sun. Tuesday, five of swords with knight of swords. Ten of swords with strength. Seven of cups with queen of cups Thursday. Six of swords Friday with the empress. Eight of wands Saturday with king of swords. And page of wands Sunday with queen of pentacles. Eight of wands with devil. Look, surely you were dependent, okay, on something, some sort of situation, okay, or your habits or your routine. Some dependency was there present and you were busy constructing something, making different situation, making yourself independent. And this is process. This is communicating. This is talking. This is preparing documentation, making things understandable. You see what I'm saying? This eight of wands prepares everything. This is to do least before things begin to show in this outer world. You have to go through this checklist. You have to do this. You have to prepare. Nothing really just pops up. It always needs some sort of preparations and you were busy with that earlier on. This devil is your dependency. I, I, I really felt that you are dependent, addicted or something like that. And all these preparations, I believe, were just for that purpose to untrain yourself you were very busy uh, last week about it. Sun energy says, oh, vitality, health, happiness, joy, children, everything beautiful. This is the burst of energy within you, making you capable, making you happy, opening up your mind for something else, something happier, something different. In that sense, beautiful energy, the sun, is always energizing your life, your situation, your day. Uh, now, on this, on this Monday, you are still dependent, okay? You were busy with something, okay? Something else. You begin to put on the ground and it's their glimpse of it, is their glimpse of new and other situations, something from the past still there. And you are juggling just for the time being, but you know, it's over, almost there. On this day, you are almost there, okay? On Monday, look, with the Five of Swords and Night of Swords on Tuesday, you will surely deal with some people. These are jealous people, people which are competing with you all the time for something which you think is rightfully yours. You want your independence. You need to separate yourself from these people, perhaps, and you will be doing it. This Night of Swords, very busy, very decisive. What is on your mind? That's how it's going to be. Okay, there's no compromising here. With the no people at all, that you will compromise anything which belongs to you, which is your idea, which is your mind, which is your goal. No compromise at all. You do not care about other people. They don't deserve anything that's yours. You are very adamant here, very fast energy. You might actually offend them heavily. You might actually step on some toes, but you wouldn't care because people are not, these people you didn't perceive as your friends on Tuesday. Now, Ten of Swords, I believe even this Knight of Swords will solve many problems here on Tuesday. Now, on 
Wednesday you will feel that you know most of the problems most of the difficulties is over okay is finishing still painting still on your mind you still need to uh, put an effort not to feel it okay because it's still present that pain that offense sadness disappointment exhausting energy painful exhausting energy is that present okay it's over yes you know you are aware of it on Wednesday it's over you know gonna have the very same difficulties ever again with these people with whatever you over and done with these people with this situation with this dependency with this drug or something okay over and done but on this day you have to seriously control yourself or not to cry you will heavily control yourself not to react to this pain even though you know it's over now Thursday with Seven of Cups and Four of Cups, no much better, much calmer, emotionally, much more satisfying energy. You will, on this day, you will feel good about yourself. You kind of, like you found your magic potion. You found that healing medicine for yourself. Something is there for you. And I believe uh, you do have ideas. You do have thoughts and dreams about your future life. That is great medicine for difficult past. Just dream about your possible happy future. And that's what you do on Thursday. Future is opening its doors for you. And you are seeing possibilities. You are planning. You are seeing options. You are dreaming about what could happen. What could it be? And you were very pleased with that. Just daydreaming pleases you enormously. Heals these wounds. Rather emotional day with healing power for, for you. Now, Six of Swords feels easier, okay? Thursday, Friday begins to feel easier. Now, Empress instead of Queen of Cups. Now, we have Empress. Yet another energy of feels good, feels at home, feels comfortable, enjoying the moment. About the same as this Thursday, you've got your Friday as well. You do understand from now on it's going to be better. And you do feel easier on this day. These troubles, these problems from the past, it's not anymore on your mind. It's easier now. And you are just enjoying the moment. Same is here on Thursday, same Friday. Enjoy the day. Feel good. Heal yourself. Okay? Future is bringing something much better for you. Many options, many opportunities for you will come and now on Saturday with eight of wands and king of swords now king of swords there's your power there where you are in your full power you are busy on this day interestingly on Saturday you will be extremely busy organizing yourself making decision what are you going to do from now on talking with people organizing this is organizing thing okay again the very same thing from earlier on your checklist now, in order to move on, to make something better for myself, I have to now do this. This was how to release yourself from that devil's energy. Now, how to move on. You are very intelligent, very decisive, in your full power. That's what you decide. On this day, it will stay with you. It's very, it will stay with you. You know exactly what you do on this day with this energy. I mean, the king of swords is such logic and intelligence and uh, abilities and, and knowledge, pure knowledge, okay, about that what you do. I mean, nothing here that you do randomly. You will do everything scientifically if you don't know how to. You'll Google it. You'll find out. you open the book. You, you'll, you'll see what I'm saying. That kind of energy you have. You'll do this, what you have to do on this day to perfection. You might actually spend the whole day doing something. Planning, doing, collecting evidence, uh, documentations, fill up some forms. You see what I'm saying? Communicating with people. Everything that is needed, you know, to step further into that future that you are heading towards okay you are preparing yourself and you are doing it properly your intelligent capable uh, self here aquarius on sunday on sunday um, perhaps you dealing with your child this child want to play drums now your child is excited about passionate about oh I'm going to be drummer now you have to budget to see where you're going to find this money to buy, to buy this I don't know second hand drum so your child going to be happy 
could be something like that on Sunday, but could very well be just extension of everything that is happening this week, or right? that you are on this new terrain with this new energy. This is a lovely childlike energy. As I told you, your child is happy and excited about playing drums. Now you are excited about something which follows you, which you are preparing for yourself, future in front of you, that options that you have now for yourself, new terrain, okay, you are on. Now on that barren land, you can build, you can grow something. You see what I'm saying? Open space there for you to fill it up now feeling like this is new life this is different life and you are very excited very enthusiastic about what you're gonna do now from now on there's no action here okay on this day it's pure sunday but it's just that excitement you can't wait to move on and do something and you are a very stable okay you it's not that you are now silly child planning your future no you are Great organizer, king of swords, queen of pentacles. Look, the best mind and the best organizer. You you know what you do. You are planning thoroughly. And now on Sunday, everything is planned and organized. So whatever now that you want to do, you are doing it with certainty because your energy here is very grounded. You are ready and you're not fooling yourself. Yes, you really are. That what you are planning to do. Yes, it's really doable. In that sense, your Sunday, nothing that is happening but acknowledgement. Yes, it can happen and you are eager and excited to go for it. Lovely Aquarius, enjoy it.